So, hi guys, welcome everyone for uh, this week live PMP Q and A session. I hope you guys are doing good with good health, and I hope your PMP preparations are going in full swing. So, as usual, please let me know in the chat. Give me a feedback that whether you guys can able to see me properly and you guys can able to hear me properly. Okay, and also let me read the chat and let me say hi to people. So hi DB. Okay, my man says my exam is tonight. All the very best for your exam, man. So when you are really following my YouTube session, keep this keep the mindset which I have taught you via this YouTube session, and definitely I hope. your concepts would have been stronger yeah all the very best for your exam so on the next week i am hoping to see you in my youtube session with a good news so all the best good hi sumit good to have you and thanks for the feedback sumit hi rakesh hi abilash hi christiana okay i don't know the name looks funny A DVD player. Thanks for the feedback, by the way. Hi, new era, Bharat. Hi, oh, Sami. Hi, Sami. Hi, Babak. Hello, Patrick. Thanks for the feedback. Hi, Dali. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Fai. To you. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Amol. Good to see you. Hi, Kerolas. Hi, Shankari. Good to see you. So. again dvd player i would like to know your name so you have already started pmp i'm studying for pmi acp all the very best and uh, acp is also uh, <clears throat> a challenging exam uh, the one advice i will give you is don't underestimate acp just because you hold this pmp certification don't kindly don't underestimate acp it is also equally a challenging exam i would say more challenging Hi Anthony, hi Suraj. I'm so happy my students are joining. Hi Pratip. So Mamata Shankar says hi. I'm preparing myself for PMI. So PMI is called Project Management Institute, and they conduct lot of courses. Uh, Mamata, I want little bit more details. I hope you are preparing for PMP. So what will you suggest? I would say that. as a first step anyone who prepares for pmp select the right mentor who can guide you and who can coach you that would be the first step yeah uh, mamata when you want to really talk to me about uh, when you feel like whether i can able to help you so please don't hesitate to write me an email so you can see my email id on the chat it is not on the chat on the screen on my screen it's gautam.sutakar@eduhubspot.com please don't hesitate to write an email definitely i will be responding to you yeah good hi joshi hi muda sir good to see you hi jagdish hi dev hi nivedita i am so excited my students are joining hi naj hi joy hi venkat hi same hi abhishek thank you abhishek nice to see you hi sharad hi jean hi ravi So Man said, "I can't wait. Let's begin." Man, you have to give me some time because a lot of people are wishing me. So I want to say hi to them. Hi Arijit, and hi Monday. Hi Naj. Hi Uma. Hi Kalyani. Hi Adiole. Hi Look. So Adiole, you are preparing for PMP. Yes, keep the momentum going. As I mentioned, pick the right coach, select the right coach, and just follow them. It's not necessarily be mine. You have to select me. Select the right coach. Hi Jagroop. Hi Anjana. Hi Michael. Okay, Mamata. I'm looking forward for your email. So Krishna said, I have a plan to pass PMP first, then go for PMI ACP immediately. Yes, Krishna. That is a very good mindset. See, let me be very honest. Since PMP has PMI has introduced agile into PMP, people are thinking that. once i study pmp i will become an expert in agile also no it is not true so what you are studying here is just 
basics of agile what you study in pmp agile is something an ocean so acp is definitely an agile specialized course when you guys are into product based companies or software based companies definitely after pmp you should do acp immediately you should not give time the reason behind that is all the agile concepts are so fresh in your mind after doing pmp you will have a good momentum and discipline acp you can do it so faster okay sutapa said hello gautam you speak less precise and make concept crystal clear thank you so much good okay now let's get started i could able to see some new people also has joined my session for the very first time so first of all i welcome you for my session if you guys don't know who is this guy who is appearing every day on tuesday in edu hubspot channel let me give you a short introduction about myself my name is gautam i am working as uh, head of training department with edu hubspot and i take care of pmp coaching in edu hubspot this is a short introduction about myself moreover i just want to give you a short introduction on how this session will be so guys in this session we are going to discuss five sets of pmp questions predominantly on agile and hybrid which will be so close to your pmp exam how i will be discussing is i will be showing you a question i'll be giving you a minute or 1 minute 20 seconds for you to answer that question you have to read the question pick an option and put that option on the chat because i am really interested to know what option you guys are picking so after that i will be approaching that question by using some of the techniques and then i will be revealing the right answer to you so this process continues for the five questions the series of five questions we we going to do yeah so let's get started with our first question so i have new sets of questions for you just a second okay so this is your first question for today and i'm going to give you 60 seconds of course i'm going to give you some uh, 10 20 seconds more yeah so your time starts now Okay last 20 seconds guys please write your answer on the chat i want to see your thought process good let me see the comment section so ben so finally i found the dvd player name it's ben okay ben pick option b mudai sir pick option d jagdish pick b rakesh pick c same pick d okay If I if if I make a trend, people are picking between B and D. Okay, picking choices between B and D, predominantly. Okay, good. Okay, guys. So now let me try this question, and then let me reveal the right choice for you guys. So before I start trying the question, I always start with explaining the three rules which you guys have to adhere to at any cost while you are approaching a PMP question. rule number 1 every pmp questions are scenario based you have to spend quality time not more time quality time in reading the question and you have to understand the scenario that is rule number 1 rule number 2 you have to understand what was asked in the question that is rule number 2 trust me when you are doing this two things in a quality manner you have a 50 60% chance that 
you will end up picking the right choice. Rule number three, our EDU HubSpot famous elimination technique. That is something you have to apply in the options. So elimination technique is not about picking the right choice. It's about eliminating the wrong option that will automatically take you to the right choice. So what I'm going to do for all the five questions, which we're going to going to discuss in today's class, I'm going to follow these three rules and then I'm going to approach these questions. Okay, good. Let me try this question. An organizational board of directors got changed suddenly. Because of this change, some of the key stakeholders got resistant to your project. This was identified as a risk earlier. A functional manager who is a key stakeholder is particularly impacted because of his time team size got reduced and he, or he is also a resistant stakeholder. The functional manager formally requests the change to delay the implementation of your project. As a project manager, how will you respond? Okay, that was being asked in the question. Okay, let me try to frame it up what I understood. My organization board of directors got changed. Because of this, some of the key stakeholders got resistant. Out of this key stakeholder, project, this functional manager is also a key stakeholder. That guy is also resistant. And this was already identified as a risk earlier. This means a risk got realized. Okay. Now what this functional manager is doing is this guy is requesting a change to delay your implementation of your project because he thinks that his team size got reduced or not. He thinks his team size got reduced because of that. He is making a change request. So how will you respond? Yeah. Let's read option A. Work with the product owner to reprioritize the product backlog sequence. Ask this question to yourself whenever you are reading an option. Is this really addressing the problem what I have in the question? Nowhere in the question it is stated product backlog is an issue here or prioritizing the product backlog is, in, is an issue here. A stakeholder is resistant. How are you going to make it supportive? And also this doesn't look like an agile project. A is absolutely an irrelevant option, not a good choice. Let's read B. Talk to the functional manager and influence her or him to be supportive of the project. Excellent choice. If I read the question, a functional manager, he or she becomes resistant. I have to, as a PM, I have to talk to this guy and I have to make them supportive. B looks like an excellent choice comparing A. This is directly addressing the problem. What I have in the question, I am eliminating option A. Option A is gone. Now it's between B, C and D. Let me read C. Perform root cause analysis on the key factors. This also looks like a very good choice. See, for any problem, as a first step, you have to identify the root cause of the problem. That is the first step. Only then you can find a solution. Yeah. But if I carefully read the question, the problem is the functional manager is a key stakeholder and that guy is resistant because causes his team size got reduced. I think cost is already inside. So I believe we don't want to do a root cause analysis again, but still we can do it. C also looks like a good choice for me. Let's read D. Review the risk register and implement the response for this case. So now my I am in alignment with option D. I will tell you the reason. If you carefully read the question, this was identified as a risk earlier. Now this risk got realized. It becomes issue. See, whenever you are identifying a risk, let's say you identify a threat, you will be defining a risk response plan. That risk response plan is a plan or is an action which will prevent the threat. But what happens when the threat occurred for that? You will be defining a contingency response also. So now what happened? This was already identified as a risk. Now this threat got realized now in the risk register, since it has been already identified as a risk, you will have a contingency response. So my pick would be, I will first go to the risk register just because it is already identified as a risk. I will see what is the contingency response planned for this particular issue and then I will execute it. So considering option D, I am eliminating B and C. My pick would be D here as most of the people picked. Yeah. 
and D is the right choice. Yeah, good. So, Shankari, you are right. For any problem, we have to identify the root cause of the issue, but carefully read the question. This was already identified as a risk. Definitely, it will have a contingency response. Contingency response is nothing but when the risk got realized, that is the response we have to do. Yeah. So D is the right choice. That's OK, guys. If you have picked the wrong one, understand from my explanation. You have uh, read something new. Yeah. Good. Let's move on. That's why I always say, even for the scenario based questions, even though when you are watching my previous videos thousand times, two thousand times, you cannot pass the real PMP exam. You should set your concept strong. So only then you can able to pass it. Yeah. So practice practicing question will come later. Yeah. First, set your concepts right. This is your next question, guys. I'm going to start the timer for you and I will be giving you some 20, 30 seconds extra. Your time starts now. Uh, guys, don't get carried away by the timer. I will be giving you some seconds extra. This is a big question. Take your time. Okay, I think I underestimated you guys because you guys have already picked, uh, started picking option. Yeah, good. And before I approach this question, I want to highlight a statement which Jack Roop has posted on the chat. Quality time on the question is very important. Yes, most of the people who picked option other than D, you guys have missed reading that part. The risk was already identified. Yeah, so that is the reason you went for the wrong choice. Good point, Jagru. Okay, let me see the chat. Okay, C is being the unanimous pick. Good. Okay, guys, now let me try this question. An organization is running a hybrid project which includes some critical hardware development by an agile team. After every sprint, the hardware is integrated with the software which is developed by the predictive software development team. Okay. The team progress is good, but the customer is giving slow approvals. The project manager had a discussion and the customer insists that the approval can be given after the testing, which is taking long time. Okay. How can the project manager accelerate the approvals and build the customer trust at the same time? Okay. Before I answer this, before I approaching the question, guys, I normally in my session own pre-prepare for my session. Okay, I'm doing this question. I'm not denying that. I'm just modifying this question. But nevertheless, I don't do a preparation because I want to simulate the first time reading scenario for you people. That is the reason I don't practice. Yeah. But I'm an expert in this PMP stuff. I'm teaching for long, long years. So for me, if I read a question for one time, I will understand. But for some of the questions in the PMP exam, not all 180, for some of the question, you may, you wanted to read a question a couple of time in order to get that question. It's absolutely fine. You can take it and you can read it. It's not a problem. But nevertheless, you will be losing some time there. How you have to compensate that timing is when you are seeing an easy question, do that within 20, 30 seconds and then move on. That's how you have to compensate the timing. Okay, good. Let's come back. Okay, what I understood from this question is, okay, I really want to read it. I forgot. Let me, just give me a minute. Let me read it.
okay i got it so an organization is running a hybrid project okay so it has a critical hardware development means hardware development is handled by an agile team after every sprint this agile team is integrating the hardware with the software software is handling in the predictive environment the progress is good but the customer is giving slow approvals team is doing a good job project progress is good but customer approvals is they are giving so slowly you had a discussion with the customer and you found out the root cause of the slow approvals the root cause is their testing means customer testing is taking a longer time this means you are deliver after you do a testing you are delivering the product to the customer after that customer does a testing at their end and after that they are giving the approvals that customer testing is taking a little longer time so you as a project manager how will you accelerate this means how will you speed up this approval okay that was the question asked okay now let's read option request the customer to send representative to witness the team's testing to pre approve the test okay see you ask this question to yourself first you do an internal testing after that you deliver a product to the customer customer will definitely do their own testing okay you cannot ask the customer hey you come and witness our internal testing based on that you give a pre approval mm, okay it's a good choice it may reduce the customer testing time let let me keep this it's not so good it's not that much good okay let me keep it work out with the customer to defer some of the unnecessary test that will help the customer to get the approval no this is not at all a good choice so how you can defer some unnecessary test no it means you are compromising on the quality and nowhere in the question it is stated customer is doing an unnecessary test b also not a good choice for me let me keep it i just conclude not a good choice a is better comparing b let's read c propose new terms for team members and customer stakeholders to work aside the customer testers to run the test in their environment this looks like a very good choice see now what is the process we do internal testing and then we deliver the product to the customer and customer does the testing so now what are we doing so once we complete the development of the product we are do doing the testing together with the customer this means our internal testing and then customer testing is happening together in the same target environment with this we can definitely fast up the approvals because our testing time is getting reduced c is directly addressing the problem we have and we are not compromising on the quality also whereas in b and a we are compromising on the quality i am eliminating a and b considering option c because option c is a better choice for me let's read d fast track the project schedule to manage the delay of the customer approval no what was asked in the question how project manager should accelerate the approvals why approvals are taking more time because customer is doing more test means the customer testing time becomes higher c is directly addressing the problem d is not at all a good choice and my pay could be c here good and i'm so happy most of the people has picked option c good okay guys let's move on guys again after completing my last youtube session i was not happy because i had almost close to 70 people in the session no one has very less people has uh, smashed the like button i told you when i get more likes i will get, come up with more challenging question it's on you guys yeah smash the like button guys good okay this is your uh, next question this means smash it when you have really liked my session this is your next question and uh, i'm going to start i'm going to start the timer your time starts now
Okay, let me read the chat. And I am interested to know which option you guys are picking. Okay, Ben pick D. And most of the people are picking A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Let me try this question. You are a project manager of a hybrid project. During the sprint review meeting, your product owner was not happy with the performance of your team because there are a lot of user stories which was picked and not completed. During the sprint, multiple team members worked on those stories and there were no blockers identified. As a project manager, how will you resolve the situation? Okay. I am a project manager in a hybrid project. In a sprint review meeting, my project's product owner is not happy with the performance of my team because a lot of user stories which was planned is not completed. And we could able to see that team members worked on this user story and there were no blockers identified. As a project manager, how will I resolve the situation? Okay, I have a problem. So what should be our mindset? For a problem, first step, root cause, then solution. Okay, let's with this mindset, let's approach this question. Discuss together with the team in a sprint retrospective meeting and identify the cause and the solution looks like an excellent choice. This was the one I was talking about, right? So when you have a problem, what is the problem here? Team are picking some user stories. They couldn't able to complete. So what are we doing? We are discussing this in the sprint retrospective meeting. This topic is a great thing to discuss in the retrospective because in retrospective, we discuss what went well, not went well. This is something is not going well. So I can take this topic in the retrospective and I will try to identify the costs. Why team couldn't able to complete the stories they picked. And based on the cost, I am identifying the solution. A is an excellent choice. Even though A is an excellent choice, I won't pick A without reading B, C and D. A might be a good choice, but in B, C and D, you may get a better choice. Yeah, let's read B. Insert, insert those stories in the blocked column and ask the product owner to reprioritize the product backlog. Okay. See what was asked in the question. It is asking, how will you resolve the situation? So here it looks like a next step. What then, what would be the next step you will be doing? No, B is not resolving the problem. It is a kind of a next step, next action, but A is resolving the problem. B is gone. For me, A looks like a good choice. Now it's between A, C and D. Let me read C. Together with the team, define the ground rules and set a limit for the user stories that need to be picked in a nitration. Okay. When you are picking option C, you yourself decided the root cause of the problem is team is picking more user stories during the planning. No, you have to identify the cause. Nowhere in the question it is stated that is the cause. C is gone. Now it's between A and D. Provide training to the team members on better at estimating the story points. For the same reason why I eliminated option C, I am eliminating D as well. When you are picking option D, you yourself decided for this problem, the cause is team has a less skills and competencies in estimating story points. No, D is gone. The first step should, should be you have to identify the cause for any problem and then solution. My pick would be a here as most of the people picked good job guys great job i would say good okay let's move on to the next one okay guys for this question you will not see the timer considering the resolution of this question i will be giving you close to one and a half minutes for this question yeah your time starts now
guys keep the mindset with with you pick an option with that you are trying to solve the problem and you have to pick two options for this question good okay so people have already started picking let me see ratna pick d and e yakub pick d yakub you have to pick two option nick pick d and e and most of the people are picking d and e okay good i don't know whether it's a correct answer or not let me see that okay guys let me try this question a project manager recently joined an organization an external project sponsor of the organization decided to quickly expand the product portfolio to meet up the increasing market demand to do this two or three agile teams should be formed with multiple team members with different skill set each of which will be dedicated to different product lines the output happens to be continually drop with increasing defect rates across all the teams because of lack of cooperation as a project manager how will you respond okay let me try this is a big question let me try to frame it up what i got from this question a project manager recently joined an organization a sponsor has decided to expand the product portfolio for doing this two or three agile teams has been formed with different skill set each team will be dedicated to different different product lines the output of this team is continuously dropping down because of the defect rates and also there is no cooperation between these different teams as a project manager how will you respond okay now from the question what problem i identified is the output is dropping down this is the problem what is the cause cause is also there in the question because of the defect rates and because of the lack of co cooperation so we have two cause here so when you are identifying a solution you have to identifying a, identify a solution with that you are trying to address this two cause yeah which is defect rate we should identify we should pick an option which is solving the defect rate second we should pick an option which is solving the lack of cooperation with this mindset let's go and see the options coach the agile team to improve their time management okay nowhere in the question it is stated time management is the problem cause is defect rate and lack of cooperation no always ask question to yourself a is addressing the problem what i have in the question or not no it is not let's read b increase the testing team members so that they can identify more defects anywhere in the question it is stated that people are identifying less defect no actually the defect rates are higher here b is also not a good choice document this as a change and follow the change control process which is mentioned in the change management plan of course you can do that but let me see the question this is something a next step you might do and also this question is an agile question in agile no change control process we embrace change c is also not a good choice d facilitate team building activities between agile teams this looks like an excellent choice reason as i mentioned we have two cause defect rate and lack of cooperation lack of cooperation this means people don't have good relationship when i conduct a team building activity that will help me to build that personal bonding option d is addressing the cause which is lack of cooperation looks like a good choice let's read e undertake the root cause analysis in the net next retrospective for the defects identified this is also addressing a problem lack of cooperation we addressed what is the next cause defect rate when we have a defect what we have to do we have to do a root cause analysis and then we have to find a solution considering my explanation d and e is my pick a b and c is gone and d and e is the right choice see guys it's about the mindset yeah picking the relevant choices good this is the last question for you and uh, i'm going to give you 60 seconds for this sharp 60 seconds okay your time starts now
good okay let me see read the chat okay ravi picked option a durga picked option a okay good so people are juggling between a d and c okay good okay let me try this question for the past three iteration the customer satisfaction score is very low because the agile team has surpassed the planned number of stories as a project manager how can you make sure that all the work performed is truly completed okay let me try to frame it up what i understood so for the past three iteration uh, the agile, my agile team is customer satisfaction score is low the reason why it is low is uh, the agile team has surpassed the planned number of user stories what was asked in the question as a project manager how i will make sure the work i am doing it's actually completed okay with this thought let's read the option together with the team and create a list of points to be achieved to say work is completed excellent choice this option is nothing but you are creating definition of done okay the definition of done explained in a different way what was asked in the question how will you make sure the work is truly completed means how will you make sure your user stories are actually done here what are we doing we are creating a list of point means we are creating a che checklist to be achieved means only the points which is written in the checklist is met i can say the work is done a is directly addressing the problem so by doing option a i am creating dod definition of done a looks like an excellent choice but as i mentioned i won't conclude a is my pick without reading b c and d let me read b introduce a review process and ask the team members to verify each other's work okay i can do this also in order to see whether work performed is truly completed or not this is also a good choice but which is the better one if you ask me a is the better one by creating dod definitely you can address this b is gone b is a good choice but a is better for me b is gone cross check the results against definition of ready no definition of ready we don't want to check c is gone definition of ready is opposite to definition of done so it is also a checklist when those points in the checklist means inside the definition of ready is met we can start the work but here it's talking about completion c is gone enquire the product owner if she or if he or she is satisfied with the results this option is completely irrelevant my pick would be option a here okay good okay guys so with this we completed today's session i hope you guys enjoyed uh, this week's five set of questions i believe before leaving if you have not liked my session please go and like it smash the like button on the youtube i expect that you know as i already mentioned that is my motivation to come up with challenging question okay now <clears throat> in this session i wanted to talk with you one important thing you know in the past two weeks i actually received eight emails from some of the pmp aspirants i don't want to mention their names they are regularly following my session they are not my students and they have not taken edu hubspot courses they just follow my youtube session so what they thought was okay let me attempt all this youtube session and then all these guys went for the exam and they failed again i repeat those are not edu hubspot student or not my student they are the person who just watched our free session guys don't do that these practice questions will definitely help you i am not denying that when it will help you is as a first step you have to set your concepts right only after that you have to come to this practice questions when you are not doing the first step means when you are not setting up your concepts right definitely after watching my youtube video you cannot pass the exam yeah i wanted to i i just noted this down <laughs> before i enter into the class because i was shocked this exam is not so easy if you just watch some questions you cannot go and pass the exam these are just practice question so whoever wants to do pmp as i always mention 
please find the right coach it's not necessarily you have to take edu hubspot course or you have to take my course no i'm not saying that but go for the right coach understand the concepts and then practice questions see why you are doing certification guys it's not about passing the exam after passing the exam you should start applying the concepts you learned on your work only then it gives value to you yeah so please keep that in mind guys so if you have a mindset like you can just watch some questions and go and pass the exam no trust me you will fail don't don't think like i'm just uh, you know giving fear to you i wanted to be honest yeah don't get carried away with some wrong examples or when someone provides the wrong direction set your concepts right okay good i hope you guys enjoyed to my today session i hope so after the session i want to go to my bed tomorrow i have my boot camp so i want to sleep well so that i can take a good good class and also for my october boot camp uh, the registration got already opened and uh, i always accept very less seats in my boot camp i won't take more than 40 45 yeah i won't take more than that because my boot camp will be very interactive and if the crowd gets bigger i cannot make it interactive yeah so it's already got open almost 40 percentage of the seats are filled for my october boot camp which starts in the middle of october we still have uh, 70 percentage uh, seats left so when you want to know and also moreover we don't have a training model yeah so we have a coaching model edu hubspot has a coaching model it's not like you will be i will be giving you six days of training and then i will be stepping back from your life no i will be working with my students on a one to one basis and then i will be making sure my students are passing the pmp exam so i want to stay connected with you all so i want to stay connected with you all especially on the linkedin so i'm just putting my linkedin id on the chat so please be kind enough to send me your connection request and this will be a motivation for you as well uh, you know you can see that my students will be pa passing on a daily basis and then they will tagging me and then they will tag me and it will be a motivation for you i have put my linkedin id on the chat so please send me a connection request and if you guys have any doubts regarding how my boot camp works how our edu hubspot coaching model works please don't hesitate to write me an email you are seeing my email id on the screen it's gautam.sutakar@eduhubspot.com trust me i will be responding to each and every email within 24 hours yeah it's not like only if you are my student or when you want to take my course you can write an email if you have any generic doubts also please write an email that's okay if you are not taking my course i will be definitely supporting you yeah because i have passion towards teaching okay good so with this we are closing our session and uh, let me say bye to people a lot of people has wished me i want to say bye to them so glad muda sir you like the session so keep learning thank you so much uh, chakru i i'm glad that you like the session please do your homeworks and thank you monday glad you liked it thank you joy thanks you welcome venkat thank you durga for your wishes thank you daniela and uh, thank you jagdish <laughs> okay okay these sessions are helping to check your own definition of ready for the exam good yes you got the concept you know you clearly understood the difference between definition of done and ready and you thank you deep for your wishes thank you amul thank you anjana for your wishes you scored 3 out of 5 not bad keep keep practicing thank you teresa thank for hitting the like button thank you samit bye jagdish bye abhishek you're welcome omar thanks for joining thank you nick thanks gautam best mentor <laughs> thank you so much sang great really mean a lot i you have told this to me lot of times but yeah whenever i hear this i'm feeling like i'm hearing for the first time no one hates appreciation right so 
that's okay vincent if you are joining live anyway this session is in this session will stays in youtube you can watch it thank you mamata thanks for the participation thank you look and uh, krishna has mentioned i loving one of the most important thing is that you are explaining the question and then answer most of the time we find find the answer without understanding the question now you have identified the root cause of your problem the problem is krishna you are not under, the cause is you are not understanding the question the solution for you is spend quality time in reading the question and understand simple this comes by practice this won't come overnight it comes by practice thank you anas thank you for sending me a linkedin request and uh, yeah you can just visit my linkedin you can see my students tagging me all around and you can see some content yeah so christiana mention thanks a lot i am a mentee i am in the step of practicing with the mock test that grace chris that that's great christiana so i hope please reach out to your mentor and just follow their instruction thank you jagan thank you pradeep thanks for your participation thank you vishesh thank you femi so thank you are my mentor yes i am your mentor daniela i know <laughs> so thank you arjit joy it's a good score yeah keep practicing set your concepts right and uh, thank you asobo for your participation thank you okay patrick scored uh, one out of five you should be proud of yourself yeah the reason being is you have identified your weak areas today so that you can correct it thank you gaurav see you next week even i am excited to meet you in the next week boot camp shivanand that's okay i just you have just joined it's absolutely fine this session stays in the youtube you can watch it later so vishesh you asked when is your next live session my next live session is on uh, mid of october so uh, if you want to talk to me so please write me an email so you are seeing my email id on my screen which is gautam.sutakar@edu-hubspot.com so please write an email so normally before i onboard my student means if i onboard my student before that i would like to have a call with them because i need some commitment from them because we have a coaching model i need commitment from my students that they are ready for the coaching model so that is a reason i will be always having a call so please don't hesitate to write me an email vishesh i will be responding to you yeah good so teresa mentioned also not to hurry in answering one might miss the important words like i did which is in the question d o d and t o exactly it's not teresa it's deep yes you are right deep okay guys so i hope i have wished everyone in this uh, session okay so now keep practicing be continuous that is so important do your hard work and again i'll be meeting next week and hopefully next week i will try to bring one of my student who passed so that uh, they will share some best practice to you guys yeah and, and take care of your study country bye see you next week